Hello guys, I'm Blavie Ashton with this parody video called Powdy. Everything great about Lunar Eclipse is 5 minutes or less. It is 7 minutes and 13 seconds long. Oh, yes. Okay, everything great about Lunar Eclipse. I know it's now technically Christmas Day, but I've been so out of the loop of reactions. I need to get reactions done. I'm very sorry this reaction or reactions are taking so long. Now I'm back into making reaction videos. I've been so caught up making um, streaming content on Twitch. Uh, you can join my Twitch um, down there. But I, I need to put the video link in the description. It will be in the video description when this video gets released. Oh, yes. Well, let's find out about Lunar Clips. Technically a Halloween episode. This game's reaction is started in three, in two, in one, go. Thunder. If you would like to support this channel a little more, consider donating to my... If I had the money, I would. The tiers are listed here. $2. $3. <laughs> but to those yeah. who just like to watch, or in some cases, react to my videos... Yeah, me. You anyway. Thank you, that's fine. Now, on to the video. <laughs> Good animation now, that, I like that. <laughs> oh, hey, calm down. <laughs> I know the music. I can't remember where, where it's from. Okay, everything great about Lunar Eclipse. Spoilers! Duh! Duh! Okay. In the Hall of the Mountain King MLP style. Nice. Nice. And Disney as well. That one creepy grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? Who? What? Star Swirl the Bearded. This you is get... exactly how cosplayers of an obscure show feel. <laughs> True, that's true, that's true. Hello, Pip! From Trottenham. Is it wrong to award a win for adorable ponies? Aww. No. No, I like candy. Pinky is exactly right. I once yeah. went trick or treating at age 20. Of course, I was dressed up as the Joker and not some poultry thing. Of course, if you're wondering why the makeup is a bit smudged, that's because some dog tried to lick it off. <laughs> I see the developers included a nod to the fandom. Not Apple to the fandom. Up as a scarecrow is really fitting for her. Yeah. Of course, this is probably the last time she dresses up as a Wizard of Oz character. Right? <laughs> I always liked how the wig looked on Zakora. Hello, Zakora. This looks so perfect on her. So perfect. To save ourselves from her searching eyes. Ooh, that's creepy though. Good to see Equestria has their own version of how Halloween came to be. Yeah, yeah. For Nightmare Man, you must not offend. <sighs> Fill up her belly with a treat or two. So that's good animation though, even though for this uh, season two, this good animation. I didn't know Nightmare Moon ran a candy protection racket. <laughs> like it would be out of character for her. No. Princess Luna the night will last forever! That's this way to make the fandom love her. <laughs> love the irony of a pony dressed as the devil being scared of Luna. <laughs> and Is that devil? This pony plays the cowardly lion really well. That like, it's like, um, they'll do that. But this is the traditional royal cantalot voice. It's too loud. to speak using the royal we. And to use this much volume when addressing Too loud! I understand why ponies would be put off by the Royal Canterlot voice, but please keep doing it. Really? Princess okay! Really oh, why couldn't I be in Fluttershy's position? <laughs> <laughs> Spider! The fun has been doubled! <clears throat> And thus began the saga of Gamer Luna. 
A princess who neglected her duties in favor of playing games. That's like she oh, was never the same again. That's like night the nights um sort of thing. Oh, oh, UK music or something. No, I mean like like world, world music. It's not insulting. We forever. Forever! This is a good point on whether certain holidays should continue to be celebrated. Of course, I won't be talking about it now, since some people are either too psychotic or infantile to have a civilized discussion about it. Ooh. It's too commercialized, though. The thing is, it's too commercialized. Pick a pie! You're a genius! And this is the part that's somewhat divided, bronies. Some say that either Pinky was being a jerk, and others say she was just messing around. I think it was a bit of both, as she pretty much pulled a prank that went too far. Not too out of character for her, though. No. Pinky and Rainbow Dash caught on. What is that dress? Why are Feynman is part of the show, though? Oh, that hair! That rainbow hair from, um, Mare Mare. Princess Luna knows how to put on a good show. Yeah. I imagine that's one of the reasons bronies really like her. I really like her. We like her. Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more nights. Aww. But do you suppose maybe you could come back? Five hours of resuscitation later. <laughs> I mean, oh, most wonderful of nights. Not Aww. only is Luna the princess of the night. She is also the princess of being cute. Yeah, that's true. So she right, Rainbow. Payback is a bitch. <laughs> Twenty-three. The button has been doubled. Track all that. Who is that meant to be? That's actually that meant to be. Hope he's not a weeping angel. Holds up so much better. Oh, that is, um, Decibel, isn't it? Is it Decibel? That is, um, from Reboot. He's always big up, um, Reboot, um, references. Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice. It is tradition to speak using the royal we. Well, we. Jesus Christ! That's a very old map of a question, isn't it? Yeah. You got Bug Bear up there. Bug Bear up there from that's a season five reference there. Now, this is part of season five, technically as well. This was made in season five. The actual map was. We see the season. Yeah, we see the map in season four. At the end of season four, and Bug Bear was on the map and. It turns out Bob Bear was part of an episode of Slice of Life. Okay, that was parody. Everything great about Princess Luna in five minutes or less. Okay, this is, was a good episode for season two. This is actually season two. Episode three, I believe. Uh, it was the first Halloween episode that that was on My Little Pony. And... Because I didn't think we had a lunar based episode as such in season one because it was more concentrated on the main six as such. Make like Twilight making friendship problems and it and it goes across the main six learning their own lessons across the season. And it's not until you get to like season two we get to see more character development for other Characters like we knew what information, more information about Discord. You saw more background characters getting involved, and things like like Twilighting, for example, or episodes like Lesson Zero, and that was that. Even that was a good episode as well. What episodes? 
I know she no, is season two. What episode is season? What episode is uh season zero? Because it wasn't that far from after this one. And in the end, they're making their own journal, uh, their own personal journal. So, so yeah, and and the Twilight Sparkle. No, you don't need to have a friendship lesson every week. It will happen eventually. It happens when you discover them. Also, with Princess Luna as well, she does more. She's got more responsibilities. Less doesn't really do much. All I feel that less she does is raise raises raises the sun, and she doesn't really get to see Luna. But Luna has to, to go into people's dreams. Imagine how many pony or oh, ponies dreams. How many ponies dreams has Luna has been in? She's got a huge responsibility, hasn't she? She's seen like trials and suffering of ponies. How many nightmares do you see a night, or how many nightmares does she have to face with? And it may not be possible to to go in every pony's dreams and help in the nightmare because it's a big universe. It's a big universe and you can't help everyone. I think you need to know when it's when you know you're having a problem. When you know that you need help and you need to reach out to a pony. The only pony that you know of is Princess Luna. She she must be the only one who can help you. It is a it is a, a very tough job indeed. It is a very hard job, indeed. It's not easy, and you can't control nightmares as such. You can't go to bed and lie down and say, "I'm not going to have a nightmare tonight." Because you don't you don't know. You don't know. Nightmare can crop up at any time in dreams. And sometimes you could be so stressed in life that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You can't control it. You can try a limit of how many nightmares or you know how to control the nightmare itself, like controlling the dream. Because I can, I've known to, to control dreams before in my sleep. So it's just knowing how to deal with nightmares. And if you need guidance, with nightmares, tell someone or tell Luna if you really believe that Luna can help. Because there's nothing wrong with having a magic, a magical pony helping you. <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> sounds so corny. Well, on that note, hope you like this reaction and my version of videos I do, and I'll see you next time. Oh yes. And I'll fly, and I'll fly until the end.